Okay, so here is where we're about 30% of the way maybe done with our chicken coop. We've got three walls here. The studs are different dimensions or different widths. We've got another wall leaning up over there against the uh, uh, shed. If you can see it, I can't tell with the sun, the way the sun's shining. But my wife, who's over there doing some work over there, Tanya, uh, we both have bad backs. And uh, so we, we made these uh, tables here uh, to make these walls for us because neither one of us can get real low and spend any time, any length of time on the ground. So we've had to build basically everything on top of the tables. Unfortunately, these are pressure treated studs that are still very wet and still very heavy. And due to our back issues, we're gonna to have to come up with some creative ways of moving this these walls over there where we want to put it because we're going to be keeping the chicken feed in the shed and we want to put the chicken coop next to the chicken feed and so we've got the the door uh framed out and like i said we've got the walls now we're going to put down as a base we're going to put down four uh, I think about 18 by 18 inch by 2 inch uh, concrete uh, bases and then we're going to set the walls on there and we still got to figure out how we're going to get the walls from here over to there. Alright, we'll figure that out and let you guys know. You can get the hand truck really in between the studs or even on the stud and that follow me across this ground. So we decided to go ahead and just temporarily screw in a cross member and um, don't let my doctor see this video. Um, I'm just going to pull this across and we're going to get it as close to the coop as we can without it hopefully tipping off and falling. Okay, we've kind of got it figured out. I don't know how the lighting is. Is bad. there? It's pretty bad. Should we move? Yeah. How do you want? Which way you want to move? That way. I don't have a selfie stick thing, whatever it's called. Um, we're sitting down in our chairs because we just got finished putting the four walls on that chicken coop. We made the walls last week. It took a week for me to recover from my back. And so we put in quite a few screws, but not enough. Back up here and show you the chicken coop where Tanya and I st stopped last time. Let's see, uh, we had put up the four walls in the last video, and then since then we added the uh, roost and the door and the nesting boxes. So I'll go in here and try to show you, uh, or give you a little tour of, uh, I just, well, let's start right here. I just got a little latch right there. And then in here we've got three roosts. And they're set up about 18 inches in height from each other, from the bottom to the second one to the third one. And uh, what we plan on doing, the way we put these in, is uh, you know we plan on having to keep the coop clean. 
And the way we can do this is we put uh, these uh, brackets on there, but we didn't screw them down. And so to remove these chicken roosts, is we just have to pull that chicken roost off. I don't know if you guys can really see with this camera. But, but I just pulled the chicken roost off of that bottom. That bottom one right there. And these are loose also. I can just pull them off. And they sit in there very good. They All three can come off. But I think we only need to take the one off. And we can get a rake under there and get all the manure out and scoop it up here in the middle aisle. And let me put this uh, three of our cedar um, chicken boxes and uh, nesting boxes. And so this is 18 inches off of the ground. So the chicken's got something, the hen's got something to jump up in here and then walk over to here and then jump up and get into her nesting boxes. And as you see over here, we put a brace down here. That's where we're going to put a water. And then over on this side of the nesting boxes, we're going to put a water on the ground. And then we'll have a feeder hanging down right around over in here. But that's just on occasions when we're maybe have to go out of town for a day or two. But uh, most of the time, we're going to be feeding the chickens outside the coop. Because this is where they're going to be spending their... Uh, days we're going to be out here in the woods and going around and eating the bugs and uh, so that's where we're at so right now what we're working on is putting up this chicken wire this one inch chicken wire what we did was we put a uh, a nail this is four feet long this uh, chicken wire four feet tall so four feet we put one screw here to hold it in place one screw here one screw here, and then over here we put one square, one screw here to hold it, and then the same thing down here in the corner, and then what we're going through is we're stapling every wire all the way down with our staple gun, and then afterwards you see this open spot right here, it's going to be a piece of tin going all the way across here, and down on the bottom it'll be going over across, and uh, it'll be coming up about six inches above where the chicken wire ends. So there'll be an overlap there and there'll be about a six inch overlap here. And that'll keep the critters from getting in the predators. So we'll uh, stop it right there for right now. All right, it's time for us to put some stones under the back. And we'll show you how we're going to do that, just to try to keep some of the predators from, from digging. And try to get some of our eggs and poultry.
All right, guys, we are done. What I'm talking about is this contraption right over here. A chicken coop. Let me see if I can get it. I'll tell you, it can't work backwards at all. Chicken coop is done. My wife and I have been working on this thing for, oh, goodness gracious, five days or so. Here's the side that's all metal we have a gap down there but it's got one inch by half inch uh welded wire down there and then in the back we've got metal down there chicken wire there metal up top and on this side the exact same thing i don't think anything can get in there but i'm gonna make sure before i put the chickens in there things we are done and we couldn't be any happier to be done with it we'll be bringing the chickens here next week and um catching those guys that'll be a trick on its own but uh i'll try to get some uh <laughs> some pictures of that or some a film of that uh that'll be uh that would be pretty comical. So anyways, that's all I've got, guys. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, the end. <laughs>